Hi guys, welcome to the video on Algebra 2 Honors Syllabus. There is a place to download it on the Canvas page, but I just want to go through and go a little more in detail on some of these sections so that you have a better idea of what this class is going to look like. So as I said, this is for Algebra 2 Honors at Shawnee Mission East. Uh, my name is Miss Colebank and I'm going to be your instructor this year. I am in room 418 and then my email and Twitter are located on the syllabus if you need those for contact information. I will also have a classroom phone number. I just don't know it right now, so when I have that, I will post it on the home page of the course. This is a picture of me and my little dog. He is a miniature poodle named Jerry. This is just a little bit about myself. Hello students and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. I'm your math teacher, Miss Colbank. While this is my first year at Shawnee Mission East, I'm beginning my fourth year as a math teacher, and I've previously worked in Lawrence, Kansas, and in Shawnee Mission at the middle school level. I went to the University of Kansas for my graduate and undergraduate degrees. In my free time, I do a lot of camping, completing DIY house projects, and hanging out with my miniature poodle. I cannot wait to meet you all virtually and then eventually in person, and um, can't wait to to dive into some content this year. So for communication, all of the communication for this course is going to be taking place through Canvas. Students will have access to all the resources there for online and in-person learning. So even if we go back to a hybrid model at some point, you will still be using Canvas. So the faster you learn Canvas and you feel comfortable with it, the better, not only for my class, but for all of your classes. Grading information will be on Canvas and then it will also be on Skyward so you can check your grade in both places, but again, Canvas is the main information hub for this whole year. Here are some of the course topics. You're welcome to read through those, but we are going to be working through those sort of a unit at a time. Those are just some of the things that we are going to be going over. Hopefully, you recognize some from previous years. So the expectations are one of the most important part of the syllabus. Every student has the ability and right to be successful in a mathematics classroom. If students are honest, attentive, and persistent, they will have no issue learning and thriving in this classroom environment. In line with that philosophy, here are the classroom rules. And remember, even though these rules are written for in-person class, they still always are going to be applying in the virtual classroom as well. One, you are not allowed to say negative statements about your mathematical abilities. Examples include, I am bad at math or I'm never going to get it. To be honest, one of the worst things you can have is a negative mindset when it comes to mathematics. I can get you guys to do all kinds of really difficult problems as long as you stay positive and um, keep a good outlook. Number two, you must be a supportive classmate and are expected to show respect and care for every individual. Bullying is absolutely not tolerated. That is one of those things where if I hear something, um, I will call you out on it. We will have a discussion on it. This has to be a supportive environment for people to feel comfortable learning. That applies in person and online. Number three, this school year will require a positive attitude and flexibility from all students. Try your best to be a team player and stay patient. I've gone through and have tried to make this course as easy to follow, as coherent as possible, but we know there are always going to be glitches and different things that cannot be anticipated. And if those are to come up, I just need you to stay um, positive and let me have some time to work some of the problems out. Number four, take pride in your mathematical ability and work. When possible, complete all assignments completely and on time. I will try to make all of the due dates as clearly as mark them as clearly as possible in Canvas. Uh, obviously, if there are emergencies or um, extenuating circumstances, then you just need to contact me as soon as possible, and I will be flexible um, with those. Number five, classroom sanitation will be a team effort. This is referring to in-person. Expect that the last five minutes of class will be dedicated to cleaning the classroom and make sure you collect your supplies when leaving the classroom. Now we can go on to the back page. Required material materials for this course are going to be a notebook or loose leaf notebook paper. You will be taking notes on your own paper using videos or live lessons that I post. You need a pencil, probably a pen, probably a highlighter. Um, you are going to want a calculator, um, but if you cannot get a calculator, you are welcome to rent one 
or you can also, um, there's some calculator functions on your computer that you can use. But I don't think we'll need calculators this early in the year. Consequences, again, these are mostly in person, but do apply to an extent on the virtual classroom and on WebEx. Um, if we're having issues with behavior or staying focused or being a good classmate, these are the different steps we would go through. So first you would get a verbal warning. That's just a really informal, hey, I see we're struggling. Can we stay on task today? After that, if the behavior continues, we move on to a student conference. That's just right before or after class. We have a little bit longer conversation so that I can figure out what you need to be successful in here. Number three would be parent contact by email or phone. Again, that's just if the problem continues or it becomes a recurring issue. And then beyond that would be administrative action, just following the normal school protocols. For grading, as far as the letter grades in this class, it is going to be what you would expect. So um, A is 90 to 100%. A B would be 80 to 89%. A C would be 70 to 79. A D, 60 to 69. And an F would be anything below that. I do um, round. So that would be another thing. If you had an 89.5, that would go ahead and round up. 79.5 would round up. Um, etc. And then as far as the weighting for the class, 85% is assessment. So that's going to be tests, quizzes, projects, those more formal pieces of learning where you show me what you've uh, learned in this class and how your thinking is going. And then 15% goes to assignments. So that would be like the weekly homework you're going to get, review quizzes, classwork, participation, taking notes, things like that. Cell phones and devices, at least for in-person, cell phones will be allowed in class as long as they do not become a distraction, okay? They cannot be a distraction for you. They cannot be a distraction for me. They cannot be a distraction for other students. If that is the case, you're welcome to have your phone. Say you need to check a quick text message and reply back, you can do that, and then you need to promptly put it to the side so that it's not distracting you. Phones are not allowed on test or quiz days. That's really the one time where it's like, nope, you cannot have a phone. Computers will be used often during normal class periods, particularly this year with Canvas. If students use uh, personal or school devices in a way that distracts them or others, parents or guardians will be notified. Even when we are in virtual class, I really need you guys to focus on what we are doing as a class during class time. I realize there are going to be more distractions at home, more distractions wherever you're completing the virtual course from. So that's just going to take some self-control, some motivation, trying to keep yourself focused so that we can get through this course and you can actually learn and actually have fun. Homework. Homework will be given digitally in a weekly format. Students will receive new homework problems each Monday and are expected to turn in completed homework the following Monday. Because homework is given beforehand and only collected once per week, no late homework will be accepted until or unless there is an emergency. Please communicate early if exceptions are needed. Guys, I'm so happy to be flexible, try to make things work for you, but you have to communicate with me. Students will also complete short review quizzes each Monday to assess progress on specific standards. So again, Mondays, you are going to get your new homework packet or homework problems. All of that work and all of those problems must be completed the following week um, due the next Monday. So you basically have an entire week to complete your homework. And then that Monday, you will also take a short homework review quiz where we go over similar concepts. So you're gonna be getting homework credit in two different ways. And again, that will all be as part of the assignments portion of your grade. If that st still seems confusing, once I give you your first homework assignment, then that will probably make a lot more sense. So we'll see. Practice standards. These are just standards that are put out by the state of Kansas that are expected to be used in all math classes. So these are some things you're going to be seeing in all of your courses throughout high school and beyond, um, which is why I like to include them there. So definitely read through that list and think to yourself, what should I work on this year? What are things that I think I already have done? But that is basically the syllabus for Honors Algebra 2. So we will talk about this more in WebEx and thanks for watching.